Hi everyone! Welcome to Pambatang Pinoy Stories Podcast. I am Radson Flores, and today, let's read the story of The Missing Crayon. A story by Marites Ramos Santiago and illustrations by Queenie A. Maramba from Chiquiting Books under Vibal Group. Let's go! Red, yellow, blue, purple, brown, orange, black, and green are the crayons that no one would buy because of their expensive price compared to other crayons. Do you think someone would still buy us? We are so expensive, Red asked. We are not ordinary crayons, Red. We are exceptional with the brilliant colors we have. Blue proudly replied. As the art shop opened each day, they would peek outside of their box, waiting for someone to buy them. Uh, miss, show me another set. These are too expensive for their size, the customer said. They might just return us to the crayon factory to be recycled, Black said sadly. Miss, may I see that box? A woman said while pointing at their box. She opened the box and looked at Orange very closely. And after a while, she said, Miss, I will take this. The crayons jumped with joy. Orange and red were teary-eyed. Brown and blue held each other's hands. Purple and green hugged one another. Andrea, I bought your crayons, the woman said when she got home. So Andrea is her name. She seems nice. Purple whispered as she peeked from the bag. Move over, I want to see her, Black insisted. Just relax, we will see her tomorrow, Orange chided. Ouch, that hurts! The crayons were awakened by what they heard. They were surprised when they saw Andrea biting black as she used it for tracing along the pencil lines. It is black! How can we help him? Yellow shouted. Andrea has no arms! Will she all put us in between her teeth? Red asked fearfully. All the other crayons rolled out of the box. Andrea picked up orange with her mouth, twisted it in her lips, bit half of the crayon, and slide it on the paper. The crayons were all exhausted from all the biting and the drawing. Black was almost blunt. Andrea started drawing once again. Later, she seemed to be looking for something. Where did it go? She wondered. She looked at the box, but it was not there. The crayons looked at each other. Who's missing? It is black! Kids, do you know where black went? Her mother joined her too in finding the missing crayon. Inside the crayon box, black held on tightly on its flap. No matter how much they shook the box, he would not budge. No, I quit. I am bone tired from yesterday and I am almost worn out from coloring, black murmured. Andrea's mother noticed her daughter's drawing. Andrea, this is beautiful, her mother praised. It doesn't look quite right without the black crayon. It will look even better with a black outline, making the colors and shapes pop out, Mama, Andrea replied. Where did you hide, Black? Orange asked. They got tired looking for you, Brown added. I firmly held on the flap because I do not want to go out anymore. My body is tired from yesterday, Black explained. But Andrea needs you, Orange replied. Our colors bring life and happiness to the world and to the lives of the people, Green said. Brown and Violet almost replied together. We bring inspiration to those who seem to have lost hope, just like Andrea. The next day, Andrea's eyes widened when she saw black. She even kissed the crayon in delight as it came out of the box. 
Thank you for being here. You're the only one missing for my colors, Andrea said as her eyes sparkled. Night and day passed by so quickly. One day, Andrea's mother came into the room. Where should I put these crayons? She asked herself as she saw the box of crayons while holding it. Later, she gently took out a frame wrapped in paper. It has a picture of a green and peaceful field under the dimming light of dusk. She hung it on the wall, and after a while, she cried. The crayons looked at each other sadly. They remembered the girl who believes in a happy and colorful life despite her disability. She is Andrea, the fairest, the brightest, and the most sparkling crayon of all. The Missing Crayon, a story by Marites Ramos Santiago from Chiquiting Books. What an inspiring story. How about you kids? What's your favorite crayon? Mine's blue. And just like Andrea and the other crayons, we are all unique in our own way. But at the end of the day, we all deserve love and respect. Thank you for listening to Pambatang Pinoy Stories Podcast. We hope you enjoyed the story of the missing crayon. I am Radson Flores. Bye-bye!